Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Sea of Stars. Last time we left off, we took out the queen that was, I believe was the, uh, was the moniker that they used. And uh, this time, we're just going to continue exploring around the map. Um, I'm pretty sure we got some more side quests and stuff to do. And all of that jazz, but uh, we'll get to it. I'm just going to explore for right now and see what we can get into. Oh, but hey. It said there was treasure left in hunting fields. I just came over here and this is right here? Did I just, oh my god, I just walked past that, huh? Rough. Okay, is that is that everything here? Oh my god, it, that was it. Well, it was an upgrade for uh, beasts, so that's nice. <laughs> I just seemingly walked right past it? I, I, wow, okay, good job me, good job. Okay, um, I, uh, Looked around for a little bit. Um, I kind of expected that uh, this would ha have the final data strip. So I was like, I looked it up to see where the final data strip was just to get an idea, just to make sure it wasn't in the final dungeon. It's in the final dungeon. <laughs> so uh, we'll come back for that. Um, so I think for now we are done with this place. The only thing that is completed is Cerulean Island and the Fleshmancer's Lair. Cerulean Island because I need the data strips for that final chest and uh, Fleshmancer's Lair because that's where the final data strip is. So back to the real world, or not the real world, the our, our world. All right, here is another solstice shrine that we are going to hit up. Uh, okay, it has a save. This is already looking like a kind of crazy puzzle. Let's see what we got here. So yeah, we need to do this. Which... Oh. Uh-huh. Okay, I mean, they're both... They're both done. Weird? Huh. Yeah, I kind of pulled them both out. I was thinking... Oh, wait. Oh my god, I'm missing the one in the middle. God, I'm a fool. I think my characters are standing in front of it. <laughs> to be fair, I think that's why I didn't see the ones in the middle. I think my characters were replaced like this. So I was like, oh, where's the final thing I need to do? <laughs> it was behind Rashawn and Zale. Your huge asses, you two, were blocking it. God. Alright, so boom, 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 boom. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so doing that causes this to come up, which means I probably need to do that to hit this. Good. That's one of them. Now there's nothing else I can do with this, right? Actually, can I jump across to there? I cannot. Unfortunately. I don't think I can climb up from there either. Alright, so now we go over here. What is the point of this? I can see none. Huh. Yeah, I see no point to that. Okay, there must be something else I can do up here that I'm just not realizing. There has to be. Because it grows ones over there, too. Hmm. That doesn't work. Yeah, I mean, that works to get me over there. That doesn't work. Hmm. Sure I can't climb up, like, right here? No. Oh, wait, I see. I see, I didn't realize a block came out right there when we did that other one. So we climb up here. <clears throat> we climb up here, then we turn it from over here. Uh, which causes you to pop out. Then I turn it back over here. Yeah. Cool. Alright, alright, that's, that's pretty simple. Good. Um... Can I use this to get over here? I sure can. Okay, and that's... That just causes that piece to come out. Uh... Don't quite need to do that right right yet. 
let's jump down here first. Come get this. Then I think what we want to do is go across to that thing over there, and... I was thinking we would grapple... ...to something, but maybe not. Hmm. Okay, what actually changes here if I do this one instead? Ah, okay. So... Yeah, we want to do this. Go up here. Then do the other one. Good. So, what does this exactly do for me? Because I need to get over there. Unless... I can't push it. Uh, let's see, we haven't hit that switch. I don't suppose I can... No. Hmm. Need to get, like, over there. Okay, wait, wait, is this, okay, that was, that was it. <clears throat> the perspective was screwing with me there, so I couldn't quite tell that this was going to make it, but yeah, that, that it can, so. Now that I've done that, I just drop down here. Do one of these to climb back up here. Yes, 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 yes. And then that will allow me to, uh, maybe now that I'm back over here, we need this again. It's very hard to tell. There we go. Uh, whoop. I'm back. There we go. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that was a pretty in-depth one. There was a whole lot of stuff going on there. I love how these big treasure chests look. Just break Valir's knees really quickly. Uh, heliacal earrings. Okay, and now we only have one more left, which is on like the left side of this world, so. I'll be able to go over there pretty quickly. So, let's see. Wait. They, Heliacal earrings? That is what I got, right? Pretty sure it was. Uh, oh, it has to go on Zale. That's why I can't see it. Sunball does full damage to splash targets. Whoa. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Alright, that's, uh, that's a fantastic one. Oh! Oh, hey, I s Ooh, that's- that's rude. That's rude. How do I get to you? How do I get to you? That's rude. Okay. Yeah, I've been- it's taken me- it's taken me a hot minute to go through here. But... What did I do? Just knock over a bunch of stuff walking that way? Sorry, a bunch of things fall. Hey, Yamara. What's going on? Know why you're here, but as always, I must remain neutral. This means I can uh, either help you, I can can't prevent you from using my cauldron. Okay, bye bye. Have fun with that. Cool. So we're done here. Aha! You're very jerkishly hidden. What? That is totally a treasure, right? Right there. Isn't that a treasure? Because it says that there's something here, in um, Still Pond Island. That's where we're currently at. And this looks like a treasure chest, but I can't open it. Huh. I don't suppose... Yeah, that's totally like one of the... Let me see. What exactly does it say is here? Does it just say it's treasure, or... Need to progress further first. Oh, okay. Well, then, okay. Thank you for that confirmation. Or else I would have been stuck here, very confused. This is a weird point to come back, uh, to, but... This song, you know those songs you have in games or anything, movies, whatever, that in kind of encapsulate the start of your adventure and kind of take you back to that nostalgic state of just starting the game? This is that song for me. It's like, such a good, happy starting song 
In a game that already has a lot of fantastic music and just generally good sound design, but this kind of encapsulates that naive, nostalgic feeling of the beginning of my adventure. So, yeah. Oh wait, I just realized the treasure that's here is probably... Treasure left. Yeah, the treasure that's here is probably just behind the door, because this is where the door is once I get all of the shrines. Um, so... And there, Sun Glow Lake, there's there's something there as well. Okay, well, I'll, I'll continue going up, because uh, we're almost to the end now anyway, but... Aha! Sun Glow Lake. Wow, five dairy. All right, here we are back at a another shrine. So, um, aha, uh -huh. yeah, I need this, huh? So do that, do that, do that, and do that. Am I gonna be able to make it in time? Nope, just lost it. There we go. So I needed to go from left to right to make it, because I think the left one fills up faster than the right one does. Oh? Oh, hi. Oh, hello there. What are we doing here? Uh-huh. Okay. Um, well then, that's not where I meant to go. Wanted to go this way. Um, well, it's usually the most roundabout path possible in these things. It's never, like, the simple path. So... Wow, did I just get it first try? Yep, told you it's never the simple path. Never ever. Oh, but we just got over here. This doesn't even actually help me, because the door is still closed. I still gotta hit two things. Um... Okay, never mind. I thought I was just trying to make it to... the, uh... other side there. Okay, well we need to... We need to kind of get back. How do I re reset this thing? Hello? Oh, okay, I can just- I can just do that. That's fine. Cool. Alright, so, uh, yeah, we need to go to... Um... This way... Getting to that one over there is gonna be hard, actually. Um... Cause there's not very many that go right. You notice that? There's, like, not a whole lot of these that go to the right. Huh. That's a problem. I mean, I can get to the left over here. I was about to say, you better be able to jump there. Okay, we can get over here. But yeah, that one on the right is a little bit more of an issue. Hmm. Because, yeah, out of that entire thing... There's only one arrow on here that goes to the right. So, we kind of just need to go straight up, I think. Mostly. Like, can I hop on here? I can. Up. Right? Up. Uh-oh. Do I need to be right here? Damn. Um. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, and this is just gonna keep taking me the other direction here, which is not what I need. If only. Let's see. I gotta go left again to get. Yeah, I'm running out of not left options here. There's, like, mostly just left. And to get to the one, uh, down, I gotta go left or up again. Okay. I was kind of close there. <clears throat> what a weird puzzle. 
Um, I was kind of close there, but... Yeah, fudged it up a little. So up. Up. Okay, so... Yeah, I need... So the problem here is that I'm going... Okay, wait, you know what? Let's go... Up? Or right there. Then go back down to the that, then go up. Okay, it was like I said. It's it's always the most roundabout way possible. Okay. Yeah, not so bad. Not so bad. Not so bad. Once we once we understood the mechanics at play here, not bad at all. All right, and you you don't have to like walk in a certain order or anything. You can kind of just go uh down here. There we go. Okay, yeah, that, that that's not bad at all. Eclipse armor. Now I wonder what's in that. Curious and curiouser and curiouser. Okay, wherever that goes, wherever that goes. Um, all right, let's uh get out of here, Valir, and also check my eclipse armor. Solstice Warrior's ultimate protection. Um. I think I want to put that on Zale, just because Zale is a healer, so it's pretty important to keep Zale alive. Valir can take it. Alright, so that's done. We still need to go to Sleeper Island. Um, and then after that, uh, the only treasure left over here is in the mountain trail, which I can get access to now. Um, I feel like I should probably save that for the, for after I do all of these, like, character side quests, because it might be, like, a super difficult boss or something. So, how about we go up here to Sleeper, get this final conch I need in the Morelands, um, go check in on the Dakari, and then go up here and do Rashan's thing? Now, ready? Here's where we need to be, with our Cobalt Hammer. Rainbow Conch. Good stuff, good stuff. So, now that we've done that, I just need to get out of here and go hit Rashan's island. All right, here's where you wanted to go, Rashan. Um, I was also thinking about the flimsy hammer thing. Um, basically the only lead I have to go on, because I haven't seen a character that mentions like where I should go with the flimsy hammers or anything. Kind of the only lead I have to go on is where I got my original hammer, but I think I just got my hammer in like a treasure chest, right? Um, so I was like, uh, was there like a, I was thinking to myself, I was like, wait, was there a character that gave me a hammer? Because then it would make sense that I just take the hammer to them. <clears throat> Who gave me the coral hammer? Was it, was it someone in the Dakari place? I can't quite remember who gave me the coral hammer. I, I can't remember. Maybe I just got it in a treasure chest or something. I, I can't quite remember, but that's about the only connection I could see. Oh, hey, it's how we finally do this thing. Yeah, I've been seeing these things hiding under the ocean for forever now. So we can finally do this. And I imagine this will give me um, Rashan's ultimate cork, if I had to guess. Um, so yeah, you need to be right here. Uh-huh. Hi. Where's this? Hi? Sunken Dakari Ruins. Interesting. The Cobalt Hammer, yeah, this is this is what I got, yeah, it's something to hit these with. <clears throat> was there a character that I got the Coral Hammer from? Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up on my, uh, computer right here really quickly. Coral Hammer... One sec. Coral Hammer, Sea of Stars. Um... Coral Hammer, Moraine in Mirth by default during story progression. So Moraine was the one that gave it to me. 
I guess that's something we could do. Go check in with Moraine. I mean, Moraine was kind of the only idea I had for someone to check in with anyway, because Moraine's just kind of an important character. So it would make sense if it was Moraine, but... Yeah. The only other thing I can think of is, this, is if there's a character that's like a blacksmith. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get it. I don't think my... <laughs> my baby intellect is going to solve some problem where other people have not or anything. I'm just kind of spitballing here because, you know, can give it a try at least. Okay, so what in the nine hells is happening here? Obviously a sliding block puzzle. But, let's see, so... That probably needs a stone on it to know we can weigh it down. So... Can get over here for whatever's that that's worth. Not really worth much. Okay, let's get back up here and raise the water level again. So I probably need to move that wooden crate because the wooden crate probably floats, right? I probably need to move it to a certain location, yeah. So it will help me. Um probably over here. So we need to move it over there so we can get up to the stone and knock it down yes okay so that's what it wants us to do there move you over here good now we'll be able to use that to get up there yes yes good okay and then we can knock you down which allows us to get that to where it needs to go. Now there is a treasure chest over there I need to get to, but I'm sure that requires moving my wooden crate to places. Yeah. Okay, so let's move you right here, move you right here, over here. Uh there, there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think I borked it a little. Cause I, oh wait, there we go. Yeah, over the, no. No, that's not gonna work. Damn it all. Hmm. I think I need to reset the room, possibly, because yeah, my, my wooden crate is stuck on the wall here and I don't need it to be. Cause like, if I move it that way, nothing. If I move it this way, if I move it this way, it gets stuck on that wall, which is not helpful. And then I can't really move it anywhere from here. Oh, wait, no, I can get... Okay, good. I can get right there to push it out of the way. Whew. A little bit worried there. Um, so down. There. Up. Oh, I can't get it in there, though. Hmm. Annoying. I mean, I guess what I could work on doing uh, is instead getting the... Uh, stone crate over here where I need it to be. Right, so, um, let's do that. But how can I possibly, yeah, I can't move it from here. Hmm. And it doesn't come up with the water, so maybe I do need to be doing something with this right now. Maybe I was correct here. I actually had this solved earlier, so I wasn't thinking I needed to put this on here, but no, I totally do. So there we go. So that brings y the stone up, which with that, I have that right there. No, because that hits that, and that does that. Uh, ideally what I would want to do is get this stone block into a position where I can have it on the stone slab instead of the wooden one. I think. Alright. So... If I move you up, you're not going to be considered on that, I think. No, you're not. But, if I move you right there... 
That does not help me. And now that's just stuck. Uh, and we'll be right back in the situation we were before. Um, but if I move you down there, go over here and move you there. Now we just push you back up there and then on there. Okay, so we've done that much. I just need to figure out how to get this over here. I mean, I maybe that's not what it wants from me. God. Hmm. Will that do anything? Yes, I think. That'll at least get me up here to grab you. Vicari Seal, Fragment A. Yeah, so we got that. But now I still need to figure out how to do this. Which requires me getting that wooden crate over there. And that's the thing that's tripping me up that I'm having the most trouble with at the moment. Aha! There we go. That'll do it. Good. So, yeah. Was, wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad. This is a weird episode, because I've been recording for 46 minutes, but I have no idea if that's enough video or not. Um, there we go. Got myself a sapphire ingot. Cool. So, where is this place listed on the map? For you to know if you've conch left? Yeah, okay. Okay, so... If you, you just you just look at that location and it'll tell you if there's still some things left in sealed Dakari ruins. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, so think we're done here. Believe we are done here. Okay, so gonna climb up the uh, anchor here. Um, sail, fly. All right, so yeah, that one's been opened. Um, I think what I want to do next is go back to um, the uh, Dakari place, right? Um, and go turn in there. Let's see if I have enough to actually do what I want to do here. God, being able to do this is so much better. Oh my god, no longer do I have to make that big long trek. Alright. Easy. So we come down here, see what's going on here. I imagine the follow-up to Rashan's quest is probably going to take us back here as well. Hey kids. Watch out! Sorry. Ahaha, I did the thing, like you can do in Pokemon, where now, you're, now you're sh your little sprites are clipping into each other. I love doing that. Alright, uh, hi. Any business? 58 so far, keep them coming, so... 60. 60! We only need two more. We only need two more for, for the something meta. Alright. Which sounds like it's gonna be a very, very busted equipable item. Which I am, uh, quite excited about, I must say. Alright, so... Get me out of Lake Takaria, and uh, we'll go find some more things. Okay, so let's continue with the next bit of this. Um, I also pinged the parrot, and it said there's treasure left in the flooded graveyard, which I know about. But there's a conch left in the half-sunken tower, and then there's a conch left here. So I think these are the two final conches. One in these uh, sealed Takari ruins, and one in that um, half-ruined tower, which I think has something to do with... Um, What's it called? Um, the quest for Yolanda. There, there it is. I was like, where is this thing at? That, that'd be it. Yeah, come on up. Come on down! Beautiful. Okay, more puzzles await me. Oop, I didn't mean... I didn't mean to leave. Go back in, go back in. Thank you. Alright, so... Ooh, okay. 
I always like the look of this, the like coral walls and everything. It's neat. Bonk. There it is. And we have a uh, hey, light puzzle. I think that's what it was. It is indeed. Okay. Now, how do I get the light active here? There we go, that'll do it. Okay, a light puzzle might not be the worst. There you go. All right, so... This seems incredibly simple compared to a lot of the other things I've had to do. So... Uh, let's do... One of those. Whoop, I didn't mean to fall all the way back down here. That's fine, though. Okay, so... Do that. Which brings this out. Then we can hit it this way. Which lowers that to reveal a climbing wall. Okay. So cool, we got all three of those. Uh-huh. Now we go back down here. You're going that way. So we want it to go down. We want it to go that way. We want it to go... I just want to make sure there was nothing over there. We want it to go this way, and then we want it to go that way. Yeah, more of those, please. I'm actually good at these puzzles. I can reliably solve them. So I like them. Uh, I can't just jump over there from here. No! Oh my god, did not expect that to happen. I stood on top of the mirror. Whoa. Okay. Let's just do that. There you go. Give. The Kari Seal Fragments. So... Said there was something hidden in one of these sunken Dakari ruins. Question is which one, because I don't really see anything hidden in this one. This one seems pretty, pretty empty right about now. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here, I guess, for now. Yeah. Okay, and I guess I'm gonna have to end the episode off there. Hopefully that's enough footage. I did cut a lot of stuff out, but we've been recording for nearly an hour, so... Cool. Alrighty. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.